Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another one of my installments in a series that I like to call Long Play. I'm Proto Dead, and I am playing a little bit of this game called Singularity this go around and this came out in 2010 um i think it was on the playstation 3 originally when it came out but it's been ported over uh i got it on steam on deep discount one day and i'm just now getting around to trying this game out and uh it's surprising me i didn't think it was going to be this good so i am uh, been pleasantly surprised i just want to jump right into it and uh and show you some of the gameplay so in my long play series i just upload about one hour or so just raw chunks of the gameplay there's not going to be commentary or anything like that um no extra bullshit just the video game so if you never played it you can sit back relax and and check it out and watch it and this is pretty much you know my playthrough of the game so if you like this sort of stuff give me a like if you dislike it give me a big fat dislike um, i'm proto dead uh share my video with a friend it helps me out a lot to uh, subscribe for future content if you like this sort of stuff and leave a comment down below and that way we can have a discussion about this game that maybe doesn't get enough attention so singularity let's get into it continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. A disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation, effectively wiping it from the map. 2010. A U.S. spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon.
Welcome to Katorga 12. All first-time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the north gate. Actual here. What's your status, Captain? They got punched out. Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. is a valuable element that can only be found on Katorga 12. Here it is mined at a depth of over one kilometer underground. The influx of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. Only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. Industrial docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. You are here. The village area contains the civilian docks, where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. The processing facilities are where E-99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. Once construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Parisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity. An event horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe.
present. And here on the isolated island of Katorga 12, we are fighting that threat. The glorious work we are doing will change the world and keep our way of life safe from those who seek to do us harm. Soviet scientists have discovered the answer to our hopes and dreams, the element E-99. E-99 is a rare element only found on Katorga 12. There are many different ways to help the efforts of Mother Russia here on Katorga 12. Your family will live well on the island, and your children will attend schools offering the very best Russian education. Scientific research is the largest division on the island, advancing agriculture, industry, medicine, and the military. Processing E-99 is an important part of the island's function, creating the metal, gas, and other forms of E-99 we use every day. A strong military presence is important on Katorga 12 to ensure the safety of the island. A workforce that will make every Russian proud is the backbone of the island. From the rail yard to the docks, every worker supports the motherland. All of your contributions will go toward achieving the ultimate goals of our work here on Katorga 12. We must stand as one against the forces of the West. You are the lucky one selected for service on Katorga 12. We have moved your family for your convenience. We must now stand together for Mother Russia. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move!
image. What happened? What did you do? <coughs> what did I do? Nothing. He almost died in there. <coughs> Fortunately, he saved me. of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has increased tenfold since Dr. Demichev went to Moscow. His presentation of our work must have been very successful. Additional facilities are being built and our research funds continue to grow. And to think, only four weeks ago Dr. Demichev almost died in that fire. Whoever saved him did us all a huge favor. I don't know how much time I have, so I'll make this quick. The Singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. It's mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me. Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Copy back and tell me things look a little south of normal because I'm officially freaking out! Go in section 8 here. I know it, damn it. Okay. Okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. Find this recording, please. Our children are hiding in a room at the top of the stairs. They only have a limited amount of food and water and won't be able to last for much longer. Please, they're so scared.
Titan One, if you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school, and there's some guy. Holy mother! are to be alert at all times and remain aware of emergency testing procedures.
Dr. Demichev has told us the equipment they're installing at the school is safe, but I'm worried. I have a friend who works at one of the animal testing labs, and he told me E-99 mutates living flesh. How could they expose the children to something like that? Dr. E-99. He's our answer to the growing menace of the United States. You see, America created the atomic bomb, a powerful weapon they've used twice now on large cities. But thanks to a recent discovery, we control something much more powerful. We control the might of E-99. E-99 is a rare element that can only be found deep underground on Katorga 12. A base was built on this island to study it. You see, our scientists think that someday they will be able to use E-99 to accomplish some pretty amazing things. Like taking barren farmland and making it productive again. Or taking a sick man and making him a super soldier. They even hope to be able to turn back the clock on old citizens and make them young again. The might of E-99 means we no longer need to fear America's atomic power. The possibilities for E-99 seem endless. Who knows, with its help, we may soon be able to travel through time itself. But whatever its uses, we can sleep soundly knowing that E-99 will protect us from the evils of the West and make the Soviet Union a safe and dominant superpower.
my friends during lunch. They make us all sit at assigned tables and force us to eat the food they put in front of us. We can't trade with anyone. Not that I feel like eating much. My stomach has been hurting a lot lately. There has been another event, this one much worse than the last. It has exceeded Parisot's threshold. We are securing the facility, and then we will make our way down the hill. We must leave Katorga 12 at once. It's good to see you, Rico. If you had to come along, I'd be dead. All right, we're supposed to meet up with SNR yesterday. Let's move up. What the hell were these things? Have you seen anything like them? Did the Russians create them? They 
did? Why? Now, I could have missed it, but I'm pretty sure a massive pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission brief. This is Devlin 4-1. Do you copy Titan 1? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4-1 on guard frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? Stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. Something's not right. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Let's go. The uniform's a little different from what I've seen, but this is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Grab that shotgun, let's go. Open the door, then cover me. On me! All 
clear. Rico, flank right. I'll go left. This area while you find a way to open the door. There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan 1 to get out of this circle jerk. On me! Frosty. <laughs> yeah, it's 86th. Go check out that guard post. Maybe there's another switch.
people are saying that many of the guard boats left empty. They have abandoned us. Katorga 12 is doomed, and it appears they wish to bury their mistake. We're Oscar Mike. Head back to my position. Shit. More of those things. Grab that rifle. We gotta clear a path. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.